Livestock News, brought to you by Santa Fe Trail Meats in Overbrook, or visit us online at sftmeats.com. Good morning and welcome back to the show. We're out at Premier Farm and Home. We're joined by Jenna. It's good to see you Thank again. You, hey, um, okay, this time of the year, um, it's temperatures are coming down. We've had horses out on pasture. We we'll start kind of moving them indoors about this time of the year. What are some of our basic tips to kind of get our stables ready for fall and winter? Well, this time of year, um, we definitely want to make sure our runs are cleaned out or if we have a lean-to with a shed in it that they've been loafing in all summer, you've got some buildup in there. It's a great time to get it cleaned out. We recommend it in the fall and the spring, starting off fresh throughout the season. Um, making sure your barn is sealed up, um, you know, so that you're not getting rain and snow that come in. And, and it's a lot better time now to do it than when it's right, actually when there's coming six down inches on of you, snow, right? right? Yeah. Right. And dealing with the mud in Kansas here, we have a little bit of a mud issue. So, you know, at, at our ranch, we're think we're re-rocking a lot of our runs, um, rocking in our driveways, and you know, just making every, sure everything's stable around our our um, arena and everything is all you know properly where it needs to be and ready for the wet season um, and another factor that comes in some of us have our horses on concrete floors but I know a favorite of a lot of horse owners if you're having your horses stalled is dirt floors in your stalls and some of us may or may not have mats but it's a good time too to go in and re-level those those stalls so that you know if you have rain coming in or anything like that that you know that comes in it doesn't stay in pool in there um, you know this is another time of year sometimes we like to close up our barn in the winter which we have you know concerns with airflow at that time but make sure you know that we have all our doors ready and all of our all of our um, turnouts ready to go now when I was a kid we used to strap a five gallon bucket to the side of the stall and that's where we poured our water good time to kind of check those make sure we don't have any leaks because there's nothing like filling up a water bucket and then coming back and it's all gone and it's basically down on the floor. So yeah. good time to check that it's stuff too. Wet mess and the number, yeah, yeah, for sure. And the number one thing is to keep those stalls dry. Um, if you can't keep them dry, probably don't put them in a stall. Um, and this time of year, we're thinking about pulling the shoes off. A lot of us are done showing or competing this time of year. Um, and we might be thinking of pulling the shoes off and kind of giving our horses a break. Um, and then there's another you know, group of us that are still going to show and compete throughout the winter. And we're gonna be thinking about keeping our horses under lights. Mm -hmm. um, our days are getting shorter now, so we're gonna try and trick Mother Nature and we're gonna wanna put our lights on timers for 16 hours and shut them off about 10 or 11 at night and um, put some mid-weight blankets on, um, dry blankets. We, we have some rain now today, mm -hmm. and a wet blanket is just as bad as no blanket right, at all or anything. Right. So, you know, make sure you, you manage your blankets and stuff. Sometimes we tend to overdo things a little bit, and we would have been better off if we would have not interrupted Mother Nature right. on some things. But if you manage them well, you'll definitely have successful results with it. And Chad and I talked uh, probably a couple years ago about managing rodents. I mean, this is a perfect time to kind of look at where you're storing your feed and making sure that, you know, the feed, because it is expensive, the feed you put in is the feed that you get to take out and, and we don't have rodents yeah, running around with that stuff. we don't want any residue from the rodents in the feed. We don't, definitely don't want to be feeding that to our horses. Um, making sure our feed bins are cleaned out and ready to go for this new season. Um, fall at our place, we just think of it as a as a, you know, another spring cleaning, right. but we just get ready for winter to pile up some more in it. But yeah, keeping your feed buckets clean, um, keeping your feed tubs clean, making sure that you, you know, part of sealing up your facility is to keep rodents out. And they have, you know, pieces on your building you can add called rat guard and, and they really help control rodents or a good cat. That's yeah, exactly. Right. Nothing, nothing like a good you know, cat. So. Nothing like a good cat. Well, if you all have any questions, come on out and see her out here at Premier Farm and Home, and we'll see you guys later. Thanks, Brian. You're welcome. It's good to see you. You too.